Edinburgh Airport's aim to modernize its flight paths in its airspace change program Get the latest local news straight to your inbox every day The Civil Aviation Authority COT has called a halt to plans to alter flight paths after Scotland's busiest airport in a move that has been welcomed by local campaigners and environmentalists. Edinburgh Airport launched its airspace change program ACP last year with a view to modernizing its flight paths as its passenger numbers continued to grow. But local campaigners raised concerns about noise and environmental impacts as the number of flights increased. Two consultations have been held on the issue before Edinburgh Airport Limited Eel submitted the case to the CA, which will make the ultimate decision. However, a CA spokesman said we have informed Edinburgh Airport that we will not be continuing to review Stage 5 of the airspace change process. Our reasons for this decision largely relates to technical aspects of the proposal and this has been fully explained to the airport. If and when these issues are addressed, Edinburgh Airport will be free to resubmit their proposal. A spokesman for the airport said Scotland's first airspace change program in over 40 years is a complex exercise involving many organizations. RACP is the first of many, and it is clear that all of this needs to be coordinated with air traffic control provider NATS. We're clear that our proposal is the best balance achievable in terms of surrounding communities and our operation, and works for Edinburgh and Scotland. We'll be working with NATS on the coordination issues to allow the CA to restart its analysis, so we can develop the airport for the future. Il held an initial consultation on the plans, the biggest of its kind by a UK airport, between June and September last year, to which 5880 responses were submitted, 89 from organizations and elected officials and 5791 from individuals. The largest number of public responses came from people in West Lothian, closely followed by residents in Edinburgh, with 1659 responses. Just over half of replies from people in the city were classed as negative, while 22% were positive and 27% neutral. Noise concerns and local pollution and environmental issues raised most concerns. There were 3963 respondents to the second consultation, with people in West Lothian accounting for 41%. Green MSP Mark Ruskell said the airport's plans had been arrogantly rushed through and said now we learn that even the technical aspects of the proposal were not up to scratch, and we're pleased to see the CA taking their duty as regulators seriously and putting a halt to these plans. This is only a temporary reprieve for local communities though, as the airport can still resubmit their application. We think there needs to be a halt to unfettered airport expansion, whilst we seriously consider Scotland's connectivity needs. A spokesman for campaign group Edinburgh Airport Watch added Scotland's need for a coherent transport policy that takes full account of the health and environmental impacts of the aviation industry has never been more urgent. With most of the flights from Edinburgh Airport being short hops mainly to London, why isn't this traffic being encouraged to go by train, a far less polluting and divisive form of transport?